Looking at the portfolio, um, on the screen in front of you, you can see a comparison between this year and last year, first half. Uh, this year, you will see that the revenue split, uh, roughly about 42% of our revenue came from construction materials, 90 or 15% came from industrial minerals, and the remaining 43% from commodities. Given the harsh impact of, of uh, COVID-19 on especially on our construction materials and industrial minerals businesses, you'll see that our operating profit was primarily driven from our commodity business. But uh, you must really see the performance of the construction materials business, considering that they were in a hard lockdown where they had absolutely no revenue for almost six weeks and then a very slow ramp up. And to end up the, the, the six months positive, eliminating the profit that uh, the, the losses that were incurred in that time, considering that we paid our pay people in full during that period, I think it's an exceptional performance of our construction material business and just shows how good a business that really is. And the same goes for our industrial minerals business, who actually grew to a 7% contribution of profits for the half year. So it's a, a very nice balanced portfolio that uh, is really working very well for us especially in difficult times. Um, I get the question quite often, why Why did we go for this structure? Why, why the diversification stru structure? And I also see that some people confuse us now for an iron ore business because at the moment the iron ore business is driving uh, from, from time to time. People would call us construction material business. We, we are all of it, not only one. And the reason why we diversified the business as much is, firstly, we now have a very good blend of locally priced commodities. We, we have a lot of pricing power and, and, and things, but we are, we are uh, exposed to the local economy. And in international commodities, where we do not have the pricing power, but we are almost exposed to international economies and things that, that is not necessarily uh, impacted by the challenges we have in South Africa. We also have an exposure to different currencies through this, and that's also something that we will grow more and more. Uh, we have exposure to different economic cycles, construction cycle, the uh, industrial cycle, the international iron ore cycle, all the other cycles that we are exposing ourselves more and more to. That just gives you an ability to give you much more of a portfolio effect in your, in your business. But all of this is built on the same or very similar operational skills because that would, that's what we really are. We, we are an a, a, a operational company. We operate assets. We're good at execution. That's what we do. And looking over the years, uh, if you look at the growth since uh, February 2009 after the worldwide crisis till February 2020, our compound average growth rate of the, of the profit of the tax is 21.5%. Um, and you can actually see a very smooth curve in spite of uh, very interesting uh, micro cycles that we saw. Um, and the last rationale for our, not the last one, but the last one I want to mention here, uh, for our diversified structure is the, the opportunities. We are now open to many more opportunities than if we were only in one single sector. And right now, we are seeing fantastic opportunities in, in all of these sectors, and it's actually a little bit like a kid in a candy store right now, with all the opportunities out there. Even the, even though that a lot of the profit comes from, um, in this period, from the iron ore, that the revenue out of the construction materials business is, quite, is still quite significant. And, and the idea, what we want to achieve with a diversified portfolio is that we, that we achieve a consistent growth in our profits, and it will come one day from from the one business unit, the next day it will come from another business unit. But we, we want to create a continuous growth, and you will see that in the financial results as we go through that. If we look at the results in in um, this six months period, the operating profit is up 11% to 353 million. Um, our headline earnings per share is basically flat year on year, a small marginal increase. 1.1 percent to 183.9 cents. The difference between the two growth figures between operating profit and the headline earnings is um, the tax um, that we paid for this period. You would have remembered that in the prior 
prior year, I said that we, we were utilizing um, unrecognized assessed losses in the iron ore business that, that has been all utilized in the prior year. So this year, you would have seen that um, our effective tax rate is back to the 28% compared to a 19% in the previous year. Our operating profit margin is, is higher than the previous year, but it is largely driven by the operating profit margin of the of the iron ore, and I will show you the different operating profit margins of the three segments. And then the interim dividend, 36 cents, the same as last year. Um, and we are very proud to say that we can pay, and it's our second dividend that we're going to pay now during the lockdown period. We are in a position to pay that. Um, our return on, on operate of our own is, is still very strong, 32.9%. And the uh, case that we generated during this period is 333 million. Um, if you look at the revenue um, and the operating profit graphs, the operating profit, like I said, is 11% up, even though the revenue um, is down 9% on the previous year. And, and the revenue, the, the, the down in the revenue is mainly due to the COVID. Like Andre said, in April, um, the construction materials had no income for that month. The margins, you would see construction materials, the margin of last year was 30.2%, and it's now 0.4%. And, and I, I want to highlight again the construction materials business, even though it's, it's only 0.4%, it is positive. Um, this segment has made, um, has returned to the operating profit levels that it was used to before the lockdown in, in the month of August. So we back, we have um, um, clawed back all the losses that we made in, in April and May, um, and, and it's always to, to deliver good profits in, in the second half of the year. The bulk commodities, like you said, that's the start of format for this six months. The operating profit margin is 48.8%, and that is largely the um, driver of the, 20, the growth in the margin to 22%. You will see even the industrial minerals has got a profit, profitable operating profit margin. Um, we get, it is down on, on the prior year. It was also impacted by, by the lockdown, but not as severe as the construction of the year sector. So the headline earnings per share compounded annual growth rate over the last six years um, of 20.16%. Uh, when it is in the last two years, exceptionally, when you will see the exceptional contribution from the iron ore business. Um, the tax rate, we put that also on the bottom of the screen, the effective tax rate is 28% compared to a 16.5% um, in the previous year. Um, the case generation is very strong in this business. Um, compounded annual growth rate um, over the last six years is 28.4%. Um, last year, we, we had an exceptional um, cash generation in the first six months, um, also out of the iron ore business. The iron ore price came down just after the interim period. So that's, we had a provision last year uh, where we provide for some of the profits um, of 137 million. This year, that provision wasn't that big, um, but we still had a very strong cash generation of 330. The balance sheet, um, it's quite stable. Um, the biggest movement in the balance sheet is the cash generation. You will see there that at the end of August, the cash in the bank was 332 million um, compared to the prior year of 156. So the cash uh, net, net debt to equity was last year 9.4%. Um, this year, it's, we're sitting in a net cash position. The borrowing is only 258 million. So the cash is more than our borrowing. If you look at the capital expenditure, the capital expenditure that we planned, we, we changed this graph a bit to show you the uh, replacement capex is the grade part. It um, fluctuates uh, between five and six percent of revenue um, of every year. Um, the red part is the replacement capital. Um, what we plan to, to finish on for this financial year is on 180 million. So the, it's a bit less than the previous years, but it is still um, um, a big um, number. 
the dividend, as I said, the um, dividend is the same as the previous year's interim period, 36 cents compounded annual growth rate of the interim dividend over the last six years is 18.5%. Um, the dividend payment date is the 30th of November.